The Black Gospel Blog welcomes Vicki Winans, singer, record label owner, producer, songwriter, comedian, and movie star. <laughs> movie star. Okay. <laughs> How about this movie star? Okay. <laughs> this is my first one. All right. So your debut. Well, and, and with your role in the, the Joel Capiti film Dreams, which comes out on DVD January 28th. Well, um, okay. well but did, now, did, did Vicki Bowman, growing up in Detroit, dream of one day being in a movie? We had so many children in our family, Rob, uh, 11. You don't do nothing but dream of um, basically getting one extra wing and three <laughs> and uh, maybe a little extra peanut butter and a piece of pie. It's what you think about. And when you have, when you're poor and then when you have um, a talent but you just cannot phantom going anywhere with that. We had so many brothers and sisters and so much love and so much fun. As I tell people, uh, people, these kids these days are just, they get to go to Toys R Us. I tell them, we never, we, we got Toys R Us, honey. We didn't get to go to Toys R Us. Toys were us. We yeah. played with each other. That's right. So, That's right. so my dream aspirations was probably right at the house, loving my mother and father, my 11 brothers and sisters. But my biggest dream was, and it really was a far distant dream, is to watch people sing, not ever dreaming, not ever really, I mean, not ever knowing that I would ever do 200 concerts a year for 20-something years and, and have a Grammy now and seven Grammy now. Just, I, that, you, that, that's what's called a wild dream. Yeah, yeah. In my wildest dream. Right. Well, I never thought that. Exactly. Some things is like you can get to. You can dream uh, like some things that you almost know that can possibly happen. But the, in my wildest dream, I could not have phantom where God has brought me and what I'm doing and then over on into comedy and making jewelry. I mean, I'm just going, just going. 60 years old and just going. Well, well, there, you don't look a day over 40, let me tell you that. So. Well, thank you. That's a blessing. Thank you. <laughs> well, how did you become involved in this project? Most people try to beat themselves up. I guess this is probably why. Uh, I guess I'm probably as appreciated as I am because I told somebody in an interview, uh, we were talking about dreams, and I, told, I think I said it on the uh, interview that's on the website of, um, of Lionsgate. I said, uh, if I didn't, I meant to, because this is the truth. My son was saying that they were doing a movie, and uh, he, you know, he was saying, I said, oh, really? And he said, yeah, we got this movie, Dreams. This was about a couple of years ago. And, uh, and I said, uh, he didn't ever ask me to be in the movie or anything. And then I, I hung up the phone and I, I said, wait a minute, hold on a second. My son, hold up. I called back. I said, okay, I'm asking, can I be in the movie? So when I tell people, it's like, honey, y'all can clap and all that's great. You probably clap it for my singing, trust me. Because <laughs> I, they did not ask me to be in the movie. I, I asked them, can I be in the movie? So I'm so excited that I was really able to play the part. It's so not me. I'm always grinning, big old smile, but my role in this movie, the, the, the little part that I have, the part that I do have, is, is a more somber, different different from me. And it's, it's just great to see. I look at myself on, on, on the big screen, I just bust it out crying. I mean, who does that? But I was so grateful to be able to have a, a part, not only as uh, being in the movie, but being an executive producer to one of the executive producers. Well, yeah, and I want to talk about your character because that was what struck me as well. But that is not the Vicky Winans that everyone is going to expect to see up on the screen. Um, just in a nutshell, tell the listeners a little bit about uh, what the movie, what the movie's about. Well, you see these, and, and it's really, really good. And I wish, and I wish, you know, just even thinking about it, just looking at, I always, I'm on Instagram, and I'm on. As I tell them, I'm on Instagram and social cam, Telegram, Graham Cracker, whatever, all the social <laughs> media they have. I'm on all that stuff. And it's not old people that are Instagramming me and tweeting me and telling me their stories and holding around me around my legs after so These are kids. Mm -hmm. These are young people who obviously I'm still, that I are still attracted to either my personality or hopes and aspirations and either I'm, I'm offering something and I'm, or I'm, all, I'm, I'm constantly motivating them, and they know that I love them, and I be trying to be down with them, you know, because, you know, I, like I tell them, trying to put you in an old folk home. But anyway, uh, so I try to stay down with the kids. But what happens in this movie is it's almost like a template that 
we don't give enough credence to, and not just that age category that's in the demographic age demographic that's in the movie, but in the, the fact that the next generation after that is going to start to the dream. So everybody should really take their children. Everybody should go and see the movie because what I get out of it is these people, all four of these situations, everybody was trying to make it as we are today. Yeah. against obstruction, against against whatever's told us. Uh, I was telling them in concert, uh, I had a show uh, Tuesday night. Uh, who works on Tuesday night? Me. Uh, but anyway, I had a show Tuesday night, and I was telling them, I said, listen, I, I know we have government, and we're supposed to have government, but government just cannot, are not responsible for all the money that you can make. Mm -hmm. You can make money because you can do, sit down and think and dream and look at things and get, get, get things. And this is what these kids were doing. They had aspirations. They wanted to do something in life, and everything was coming against them. And, and, and how it twists and turns around each other. That movie is absolutely phenomenal to me. Well, tell us about and, your character, Veronica, because, again, you know, this is not, this is a different Vicky Wine. It's a different side, I, I suspect. Uh, well, tell, tell us a little bit about your character. Well, she, she herself, First of all, she's a, she just could be a, little, a bit too whatever she is. Is she mean? I don't know if she's mean. <laughs> I don't know if she just don't like her husband. I don't know if she's jealous of her daughter. she got a lot she got a lot yeah. of issues. Yeah. So in that particular thing, a lot of times when you have issues like that, they come out in ways you don't even know that you are showing it those ways. And she was either jealous of her daughter or she just gave her daughter a hard time and she's strict and then her husband was a looney tune and it's just she just was going through it so in her own way she uh was trying either to live through i don't know i don't know maybe she needs to have been rewound and backed up and started dreaming earlier herself sure but she's a little meanie and and uh which i'm not and, and it was just so funny trying to trying to get all that but the, the storyline around um uh, the, the, her daughter and what her daughter was trying to do and the way that, you know, you are a product of your environment. I mean, I don't care what anybody says. You have a brand new baby. When they get here, they know nothing. They are nothing. I can take a, a, a Japanese brand new baby and bring them over here and I raise her. She will not be doing what Japanese people do. She will be doing what I do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, uh, parental uh, the things that we do can either hurt or harm our children's dreams. I looked at my own boys and I studied them, and everywhere they went, even Marvin, Marvin's uh, producing this, my yeah, son, yeah. which I didn't even know he could do, but everywhere he went in his life, I was trailing him just to make sure he had what he needed as he dreamed. And this is what's so good about this movie, that parents can take it and teach with it. But my part, she was just lost. And her husband was nuts. Oh, it's just, it's just so great. And that, that, that's only one. And the way it's webbed around and tripped around and you follow it all around. Oh, it's just great. I, I've watched it at least 20 times. Well, and, and what did you, did you have to do to get into that kind of character? Because like you said, you're not, you know, by nature a mean person. So how did you have to, how did you work to get into that person's character? It's called acting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I did it. Yeah. I had to. Re I would. I dared not do anything. Uh, Marvin was wearing four hats. He was picking up people from the airport. He was producing. He was getting people settled in, and the stars and the people were coming in and all. And I would. And, and they were filming me. I just would not do anything. I was scared to death. Put me on stage. I can do a show in my sleep. Mm -hmm. I do. I've done thousands. But put me on stage. Some of them acting because, honey, they're a little more. They scrutinize you over there. Sure. And. Uh, so I, I, I wouldn't do anything until he got there to make sure I was doing it right. I don't want to overdo. You can overact, and you, I can look at TV and tell somebody's overacting. It just doesn't come off of it. So you're supposed to act like you're not acting. That's, and right. that's hard to do. In addition to Marvin, you had Jason, the, the Christian hip hop, uh, Deleon uh, Sheffield, Angie Stone. What was it like working with everybody in this kind of capacity? Oh, let me tell you something. Ah, and I hear them for the Oscars. You know that everybody how. Uh, even the uh, the movie that's up for so many, the uh, uh, American uh, Hustle. Yeah. I've been hearing that everybody was such so together. You do. You become a family while you're filming. And I'm telling you, when we did the first red carpet thing that we did in Chicago, we had so much 
fun together because we're looking at a body of work that we all set our own personal whatever aside. Everybody came together to do one thing. It was phenomenal to us. And I love Angie Stone. Oh, my God, I love her. I had no idea she was that crazy. And Terry, oh, I love her. And even Taisha yeah. from the from American Idol. Yeah. She was beautiful. Everybody's spirits were great. We just had a ball. It was, it was a blast. So uh, blast. are you planning to, would you do another film? What? Honey, give me anybody's phone number who needs a film. <laughs> I, will call, I will call them right after I hang up from you. Right. As a matter of fact, I almost told the lady at Lions Gate, poor thing, I know she don't have anything to do with film. <laughs> just, come, just, just go around and start whispering my name into people's ears. <laughs> just let them know I'm ready. But I, we, I do actually have an absolutely phenomenal film that Marvin and I wrote. It is phenomenal. And uh, I actually, when we're done and getting this one off uh, to a great start, this is the one that I want to do is a really great film. And it is a great, because I have a, a homeless foundation. I uh, just got my 501c3. So oh, congratulations. I do uh, work for homeless people and uh, with my comedy. And I just bought them a bus. So the movie is about a homeless woman that comes out of, a woman that comes out of jail uh, and goes to, uh, and becomes homeless, and, but she can sing. And she works her way and works her way up, basically, to win a million dollars. And then she comes back and, her, uh, and, and, and helps build homes for others. Her name is Grace. The name of the movie is Amazing Grace. It is absolutely hilarious, but it's a dramedy. Well, you, you have redefined what it means to be the hardest working person in, in, in I just say, in business. Vicki Winans, thank you for spending time. Good luck with the movie. Joel Cafferty Dreams comes out on DVD yeah. January 28th with Vicki yeah. Winans is Veronica. <laughs>